What's up everybody? Today we're going to be breaking down a sick football graphic. The composition in this graphic and the elements used just made it come together really nicely, so let's break it down. To start out, we have a yellow background. Again, I put a gradient overlay on this. Pretty simple, makes it pop. I always love to do this. So it's 25%, 100% on the size. Simple and basic, not too much going on there. Then we have this texture in the background. Whatever brand you're working with, you wanna make sure you're using their their style, using elements that they've given you or that like match their brand and what they use. So for App State, this is one we use a lot at that point. It fits with their sort of mountain topographical map look. Then we added in the text. I wanted it to be not boring. So we're gonna add in some 3D elements here in a minute. This is all basic. Again, with like typ typography and stuff like that, you wanna make it interesting. So we're gonna have a big 3D number one right here that already makes it interesting. And then you have a big ST, so it'll read first team All-American. But just make it more interesting than writing out first team All-American just across the page or just like stacked, you know. You wanna change up the sizing, put like the more important words bigger and bolder, and team is not necessarily the most important word, so we can make that read up and down because like first and All-American are a little bit more important, so it's better for them to be, you know, more legible while team just kind of fits into the box of the rest of the text. For his name, Stephen Jones Jr., I decided to go yellow. We had a couple different looks at this graphic, so at one point the background was white. But I decided to do yellow on yellow here and then just make his text have that same gradient overlay. So literally the only reason you can see this right now is because there's a bevel and a gradient overlay. So the gradient overlay makes it a different yellow than the background because it goes from hot yellow to like more of a greenish yellow. And then the bevel is what gives it like the outline. So if that wasn't there, it would look like that. And if that wasn't there, you couldn't see it at all. So basically just putting those two things on it is what gives it the look. And then whatever it, it was originally, if you just take the fill and bring it down to zero, that's what it looks like. Then I decided to add in that same texture inside of his name, just to give it even more of like a look. So that's set to soft light at 25% and then soft light at 100%. And then we have a big cutout of him in the background. So this is like a super unique graphic so we have a big cutout which is you know used a lot but we only have half of it showing and then on that cutout to give it depth we have an inner shadow which is a lighting layer hitting on the top of him and then another inner shadow which is a shade layer so look how that gives him depth on this side down here too yeah on the side of his face even that really like gives some depth to him and then when you add the drop shadow behind him that gives depth as well so like kind of brings him off the background a little bit. So I think those together worked really well. And then I just used a curves layer on his eye to brighten up his eye a little bit, make it pop. Then I used a black and white layer that's on his eye as well. Cause there's like, it looked a little like red or something. So I just want to make it more white. Anyway, all those are pretty basic, not super necessary. So this is the 3D one. I'd recommend if you've never worked in 3D to start doing that one way or another you can use ai stuff to make 3d things but it's a little less reliable because you can't always get it to do exactly what you want it to do i use adobe dimension for that it's honestly not the greatest i think at some point i'll probably change to something else but i would recommend using something to start diving into the 3d world because i think it's just going to get more and more important as time goes on so i added a drop shadow to that pretty basic to like make that pop off the background make it look like it's above everything else here then it exposed layer to brighten it up so that already looks so much better so that already just makes the typography and the composition just cooler than it would be if there was just a black one right here and it was just regular boring text so try to do things like that with your text and whatnot make it interesting make it easy to read give it that like hierarchy like so the first thing you see here is gonna be the one and then you're gonna read first team all-american it just makes it cooler than it would be. Down here we have a shadow at the bottom and that's sort of just an ellipse with like one side brushed away so that it looks like the lighting is coming from over here and it's like shining down this way. So that makes more sense when I put him on the paper. So I'm not sure if I put one under his other foot or not. It's gotta be somewhere. But that is kind of how that works with like the shading. So if the light's coming from over here, it's gonna hit this way and then his foot is gonna like make a shadow going this way. Maybe I deleted the other one on accident. So we'll just add another one in right there. I just duplicated it and moved it over. Easy enough. Ah, oh, that's why I didn't do it because <laughs> I was gonna block it. So then we have a triangle at the bottom and this is in a group that has a inner shadow and a drop shadow on it. 
So if you take that away, it just doesn't look 3D. So if you add an inner shadow and drop shadow onto it, it looks 3D and then it has like some shading behind it to give it the 3D look. And then we have the logo with a stroke on it to make it look like it's all a part of that same group. So that looks really nice together. It's like it's like all one element and it's all like a 3D element. So I love how that looks. Then we just added some stars up top to, you know, signify this is an important graphic, you know, also just like fill a little bit of space. You don't necessarily need to fill space, but I figured I would just because of how the layout worked. Then we added that lighting from the top right and the shading on the bottom left, just brushes, and then one last sort of color lookup that we created to make the whole thing pop, which basically like makes the yellows a little more, a little hotter than they would be. Let me know in the comments if you learned anything, and this graphic will probably be on Patreon at some point, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on it.